Hello, friends! Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Emily, and my channel is completely devoted to everything memory keeping, so be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss my weekly memory keeping process videos. Today I'm going to be making a traveler's notebook layout and I'm going to be watercoloring using this pattern paper kind of as color inspiration. I don't use that pattern paper at all in the layout, but I sometimes like to look at pattern paper to get ideas about what colors look good together. So I use the wet on wet method where I paint with water first and then drop paint into the uh, water spot and I wanted to make a bunch of circles. We'll be home to some journaling and some stamping and some chipboard circles. What I like to do when I'm watercoloring, and I am by no means an authority on watercolor, um, but I like to just kind of get a base color down and then put little dots of darker color or some kind of color variation just to keep things interesting. So I decided to go with uh, plum, yellow, and blue, which is just a tried and true color combination that looks great together. I actually started a watercolor strip like this and I started using some orange and green and it was just too much. So I started over and you'll see that strip in a second. I end up using it kind of as a scratch paper. I'm tapping the brush to add some paint splashes and I wanted two of the circles to connect so that there would be a little bit of blending, but other than that, I wanted all of the circles to kind of stand on their own. Um, and then at that transition point between the pink and the blue circle, I added some extra water to sort of facilitate those two colors blending well together. And I wanted to make a couple of half circles that went off the page just to look like it was a repeated pattern um, that you know kind of just keeps going. So here's just another piece of watercolor paper that I wanted to use those same colors to make two little circles that my idea was to stamp on them and then punch them out to put it on the other side of the page where my photo is gonna go just to kind of tie everything together. And I'm looking through my chipboard supply to find chipboard pieces that match those colors. The story that I wanted to tell with this layout is about um, just a very sweet relationship between my husband and our cat that she just sleeps every night on his lap and she was sort of transitioning when we moved into our new house that it took her a little while to realize that he's just the same old person and his lap is just the same old comforting place and so um, and I was inspired to do that by these um, stamps that I'll use in just a second from Allie Edwards that are um, they say then and now today past or past and present today yesterday um, and so I was thinking about I actually have a lot of other ideas about things that you can kind of contrast things that were one way before and are different now um, it's perfectly complementary to the story kit this month which is all about transitions so I'm gonna definitely be using this stamp quite a bit and I liked how the stamp circles are messy circles. They, I felt like they just looked so great with the messy circles of the watercolor. So now I'm measuring because I want that little yellow circle to be home to my journaling. So I jumped over to Photoshop and made a little text circle that was the approximate measurements of that little yellow watercolor circle. So my last sort of dilemma was to figure out what to do with the final circles. I didn't want it to be too repetitive, um, but I also wanted there to be something in each of the circles to keep it consistent. So I decided to just use kind of a hollow circle around that chipboard and then that yellow half circle that's going off the page. I decided to flip the old and new stamp around and then use just sort of the edge of that. And I wanted to use that same stamp again on the blue and yellow watercolor circles and then I am just punching them out with a, an inch and a half circle punch. And I wasn't sure if I was going to use both of them. Um, in the end I just used the yellow one because I wanted to just kind of make the yellow a focal point. And then I was looking at the photo and it looked a little bit blank at the top. So I had this washi tape that was kind of the color of the pink or purplish color um, on the watercolor circles so I used that and then I wanted there to be something else on top of the washi tape so I was looking through some chipboard uh, phrases and nothing was quite matching up just right so I just attached um, my circle punch with my Tim Holtz tiny attacher um, and decided to just come back to it I thought that heart and soul chipboard piece looked good but it ended up being a little bit too much pink and so I grabbed a word phrase sticker from Allie Edwards and I ended up liking how that looked. So that is the whole layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick watercolor tutorial and traveler's notebook layout. If you did, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.